The human microbiota is an aggregate of microorganisms. A microbiome resides in our human bodies. It's been indicated that bacteria outnumber human cells almost 10 to 1. Most of the microbes that are associated with human appear not to be harmful at all, but rather assist in maintaining processes necessary for a healthy body. body. However, as we are all aware, there are plenty of bacteria that can be harmful to our system, and thus, detecting and fighting them is a major challenge for medicine and research. This problem is especially important in the growing number of bacteria that have gained antibiotic resistance. Dr. Zhao is here to detail some of, his, some of the roles that bacteria play in human physiology and pathology. Dr. Zhao completed his BS and MS degrees in chemistry at Shandong University, where he studied polymer surface and colloidal chemistry. Dr. Zhao then obtained his PhD in chemistry from McMaster University in 2008, and during 2008 to 2011, he was a Human Frontier Science Program postdoctoral fellow at Harvard Medical School, Brigham and Women's Hospital, and MIT. Uh, all at once? All those places all at once? Or No? Okay. <laughs> so, um, he joined the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences in 2011, but since then, Dr. Zhao has been quite prolific, where he received numerous awards, including the MIT Technology Review TR35 Award, which is the world's top 35 innovators under the age of 35 and the NIH Director's New Innovator Award. So let me please uh, welcome Dr. Zhao to the podium. Okay, so I want to tell you something today that's going to freak you out. You kiss people, right? But you may not be aware of what that means to you. So, what happens is that 80 million bacteria are exchanged during a 10 second case. Um, as reported uh, in a paper just a few months ago, um, to kiss or not to kiss, you know, I think that's really the question now. <laughs> um, so we still don't know much about what that means, um, but as I will show you, um, we think those bacteria do more good than bad. Um, in fact, um, in your body, there is a hundred trillion microorganisms, which is ten times higher even than your human cells. Collectively, they would weigh like tw uh, two to six pounds, which is much heavier than your brain. So, they just really just everywhere. So they are part of us, and they are part of them. So they make up this microbiome, which is an ecosystem that plays a really important role in human health. So as I just mentioned, most of these microorganisms are actually very good. They help us to digest the food, they produce nutrients, vitamins, and they boost the immune systems, and they also regulate um, metabolisms. For example, they help to uh, harvest energy, and also, um, you know, to reduce you know fat in the body as well. And sometimes they even produce antibiotics to help us to fight with the, the real bad uh, microorganisms. And that's why, um, if this uh, microbiome is misregulated or is not functional properly, uh, for example, due to the antibiotics we take, mm -hmm. uh, you can actually have all sorts of Diseases, you know, including cancer, obesity, diabetes, and also neurological disorders. On the other hand, as we also know, there are numerous microorganisms that can cause infection or disease. And here you just have a very long list. For example, the infection in the bloodstream uh, causes hundreds of thousands of people die every year here in our country. Um, and that costs like more than $20 billion every year to our <clears throat> medical care. What's even worse is that some of these bugs have evolved and acquired this mechanism to get around of this antibiotic treatment. Okay? So, in the future, the risk is that even a very simple infection that can kill us 
just because our antibiotics are not working anymore. Okay, those are called superbugs, and it's real and it's happening. So it's being considered as one of the biggest threat to human being, um, and it's also really a national priority. So as it turns out, we, you know, human being, are largely responsible to this antimicrobial resistance. It's just because the overuse or misuse of antibiotics. In the clinic in particular, as you are all very familiar, if you go to the hospital uh, with a sort of like infection, right? So your doctor will give you some kind of antibiotics and see if it works. If it does not work, you go back, you get something else, right? Studies have shown this sort of empirical treatment up to half the time is inappropriate or it's just not right. So when it's not right, more people will die because they do not receive the right treatment right away. And those antibiotics are extremely expensive and it's very toxic because they also kill the good bacteria, as I just talked to you about. So there is a large ongoing initiative in the country uh, whose goal is that in the future, the physician will not give you any antibiotics until they know you do have an infection and what kind of infection you actually have. So in my lab here at the Pharmaceutical Sciences Department at UCI, so we're developing very rapid bacterial tests that's going to allow the physician to diagnose and identify those infections very early so that we can make sure we give the patient the right treatment when they need it. Thank you so much. <laughs>